Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start off by wishing you guys a very happy new year. I hope you all had a really fun celebration, that you were with the people that you love, and that everybody has some fun new year's resolutions for this year. I know I never keep mine, so I don't even try anymore. If there's one thing though I really did want to try without it being a full blown out new year's resolution, was try to stay a little bit on top of my meal planning uh, game and uh, try to do some very effective grocery shopping. The first video of 2024 is a grocery haul. So I went to Walmart for this first grocery haul. I had a lot of things to buy. The prices are usually a little bit more interesting, so I wanted to start off with that. The first products I'm going to start off with are the frozen foods because I would like to put those away as fast as possible. So here are the products I got, just to give you an overview. I get a lot of frozen vegetables um, all the time, actually, because these are easy. You just throw them in the microwave for five minutes and uh, you all you have to do is kind of season them. Sometimes for the broccolis, once they're cooked in the microwave, I will throw them on a pan, put some seasoning on them, and kind of um, make them a little bit more golden with the pan. Uh, these also, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. I got these 50 chicken breast strips. I get these because I like making spicy buffalo chicken salad. It's pretty much like a Caesar salad, but you just add a little bit of uh, um, hot sauce on the chicken. The kids love that. I don't put too much hot sauce, obviously, for them. I've already taken these out of the package, but these are garlic uh, breadsticks. I make these with spaghetti meatballs. Moving on to the uh, cold items that I'm going to put in the fridge as soon as I'm done with this. The first thing I got was milk for my son's chocolate milk. He has one every morning. I also got these crescents. Uh, we make these sometimes. They're The only problem with these, I feel, is that they taste a little salty. So my boys don't really like them for breakfast. What I'll do is I'll usually um, roll a um, sausage in there, like kind of a hot dog, and then make um, hot dog crescents for them. They can have that for lunch. We also got these um, hickory smoked bacons and these sausages, breakfast sausages. They love these. These do not exist in France. And when they discovered them, they went absolutely nuts. <laughs> so we sometimes do eggs, bacon, and sausage for dinner. Um, I also got this cottage cheese. I'm trying to eat cottage cheese a little bit now at lunch to try to eat a little healthier. I got this Panera vinaigrette and marinade lemon. I'm not sure what it, it actually, I wasn't sure. I think I got it thinking it was a vinaigrette, but now I see it's a marinade also. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do with this. I'm not quite sure whether to use it in a salad or, or to prepare chicken or something. I got these because we are cookie lovers. I usually don't buy Lunchables or prepared uh, like meals like this, but my son is at camp this week. I do not prepare lunch, so I just got him these. Of course, I don't only put this in his lunch, but I figured I put this and then a bunch of other things so that these are little things he's gonna snack on. So he doesn't know really Lunchables and what they are. I know he will not want to make the pizzas this way, but I figured he's gonna snack on the bread, he's gonna snack on the cheese and snack on the pepperoni. I will, however, find that package of marinade in his lunchbox when he gets home. Um, also this, I don't think he's a big fan of the ham, but we'll see. And I got these um, yogurts for me. I usually make myself uh, yogurt and fruit and granola um, as a little snack. That is it for the cold items that I'm gonna put back in the fridge right now. Now this is an overview of the rest of the groceries I got. There are a few um, cold items like the juice that should be in the refrigerator but it was a little less urgent than the meats. I'm going to start with the products that you can't eat. There's not a lot because we've already we've already stocked up on all these things, but here we have my um, lotion. So it's the Nivea Value Intense Healing. Um, the boys like having their own 
toothpaste just so they do not mix them up. God forbid they touch the other one's toothpaste, you know. <laughs> these are disinfecting wipes. I usually keep one of these in each bathroom just so we can clean up after ourselves. And this is Shout Color Catcher. I could not live without these. Um, I literally throw these in every single one of my washes. Before I begin showing you what I bought um, as just uh, the food that doesn't need to be in the cold, I just wanted to tell you the things that I had kind of planned on making this week. I have never been um, a meal prepper. I've never done that. I just feel like if I make a bunch of things on a Sunday, I will feel like on Wednesday, like it's not good anymore. I'll feel like the food is gonna go bad or I don't know. It's probably not how it works, but that's how I would feel. So I never prepped anything. If it was like rice or something, I knew that I could eat that for a few days, but vegetables, I just kind of felt like they would be soggy or something by Wednesdays. I'm completely new at this and I'm not actually going to prep my meals ahead of time. I'm just going to write down the meals that I want to prepare so that when I go grocery shopping, I'm a little bit organized. And this is something I've never done either. When I was in France, I was working a, like a nine to six job. And by the time I was out, I would go pick up my groceries at the drive and just fix like the fastest thing for my kids. So I was never really organized for that. So this is kind of a new era for me and I hope that I'll be able to get into these good habits. Usually we have like a good like 10 meals. We just rotate because I have absolutely no imagination when it comes to foods. Any ideas are welcome if you do. So what I figured for this week, we would do a buffalo chicken Caesar salad, a lentil salad. So lentil salad is um, just cold lentils with uh, capers, cheese, chopped up eggs, chopped up onions, chopped up tomatoes with a vinaigrette that I put in there. So pretty much everything is in there. Vegetables, the protein, everything. I will also do mac and cheese with a grilled chicken, just grilled chicken on the pan with a little bit of seasoning. Mashed potatoes and salmon, that's something that my kids love. Raymond noodles with chicken broth. Raymond noodles are just too spicy for my kids. So I do, uh, I take out the spices and make chicken broth and then cook the Raymond noodles in the chicken broth. One of my kids likes it with the soup, the other one likes it just drained so we can eat it however we want. And then on the side I put broccoli. This is why I buy these frozen packs of vegetables is because no matter what we're eating, I'm just always gonna throw in a plate of vegetables for them. And they're so easy to make and they love anything that's steamed. As long as you add a little seasoning on it, they just love it. So let's move on to the other foods. All right, so here we have a little overview of everything. So as you can see, there's quite a lot. <laughs> Food for my cat. I usually get these little cans because he will eat one can a day. So at least I know that every day I'm starting off with a fresh can, it won't go bad. Breadcrumbs because I make tomates à la Provençale, uh, which is pretty much you cut a tomato in half, fill it with breadcrumbs, seasoning, olive oil, and um, you put it in the oven, it's delicious. It's a French dish. These are chocolate croissants for my kids' snacks. There are mini cookies, frosted flakes. I know these are not the best. I usually put a little quantity in a sandwich bag for my son for his snacks, along with other healthier things, but he absolutely loves these. These are um, chewy granola bars. Those are for me before I go running. They're actually the ones that I found that have like the least calories. I feel like everything has so many calories. So if you guys know something, maybe a, a chewy granola bar that has less than 100 calories, let me know. Here are the townhouse pitas. I discovered these not long ago. This is the flavoring everything. I eat this with hummus, cheese, anything. Pancake mix. I have orange juice. This is Hormel chili with no beans. I usually make this um, with tortillas and add a little bit of cheese, tomato, guacamole on it. A1 sauce. This is an onion powder that I cook a lot of things with as well. This is Lint 70% cocoa chocolate. I put these in regular croissants and then put them in the oven. It's so good. These are the capers that I will use to make my um, lentil salad. The capers, I feel like the capers are what make the salad. They're so good. Then I have artichoke hearts. I usually just make this with a regular vinaigrette. I have individually wrapped cupcakes for my older son for his snack. 
I bought my husband a s'mores fire pit for out. You can use it inside or outside, but we're a little nervous to use it inside, so we just mostly do it out. And this is the Hershey's chocolate with the marshmallows. We already had graham crackers, so I didn't buy more. Regular string cheese for snacks. These are individually wrapped muffins. Grapes, apples, lemons. I make a lot of lemon water, so that's yummy. Mac and cheese for a recipe for this week. These little mandarins, these are really good. These are called the Cuties, and I feel like these are the best brand I've found so far for mandarins. An onion, again, for my lentil salad. These are the mandarin oranges that I will put in my yogurt with granola. These are so good. I know this is so industrial and I should be using these, but when I'm trying to go fast and make myself a fast snack and I just dump one of those in there. This is the complete seasoning. I put this in pretty much everything, especially the vegetables. It's really good. A kennel corn. This is a new bread that we're trying out. It's um, multi-grain and I didn't realize it was thick sliced. 12 large organic eggs. Uh, string cheese to put in my kids' snacks as well. And here we have romaine and iceberg lettuce. I know a few years ago there was a whole thing about one of those two not being really good, not having enough nutrients or whatever it was. I can never remember, but honestly, I just feel like getting something green inside of you is better than not. So, I mean, if it doesn't have enough nutrients, I'm sure we can find our nutrients elsewhere in our, in our diet. And here I have buttery homestyle mashed potatoes. These are the mashed potatoes that I make with our salmon. The boys love this. Um, this was one of their favorite dishes in France is mashed potatoes and salmon. So that is it for my haul. I'm going to put everything away now. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe it gave you a little idea of something to prepare because I feel like I'm always running out of ideas. Uh, like I said, if you have any ideas um, of meals, easy meals that you guys make for your family, uh, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will be coming out with a new video in just a few days. So I wanted to wish you guys a nice day and I will see you soon. Bye.